votes are. Now, away from that, let's focus our attention also on uh, what exactly you would do with your money after you hit the age of 65, which is officially the retirement age in this country. Um, have you thought of saving it up? starting now that you are still a young youthful Kenyan and uh, making good use of it when you clock 65. Well joining us and helping us understand what more you can do with your money that you save up on uh, some of your insurance is the CEO of Enwealth Financial Services that is uh, Simon Wafuba. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you Joy. Uh, a Pleasure. lot of young people have a poor saving culture yes. and uh, that is one of the reasons we get to the age of 60 and we do not have any valuable investments. How do we change this and turn it around? I think a lot of education needs to be spread and uh, to the youth mm -hmm. to appreciate that if they eat their future now, their future will have nothing else to eat but themselves. Yeah. Um, and also I think they have to appreciate uh, some of the core benefits of saving for retirement, mm -hmm. which includes uh, presently uh, generous tax advantages. When they fund it, their benefits now, the benefits grow with the return such that when they get into retirement, they have accumulated a sizable kitty that can help them uh, for a su sustainable, dignified retirement life. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. So um, one of the other key important issues, of course, health yes. um, plays a big role. Yes. Without good health, you yes. can't be able to enjoy your investments. Yes. So, uh, but many don't really tend to invest more into that when it comes to things to do with M health or yes. health insurance, yes. um, unless your employee actually has to do it in a very mandatory way. Yes. Some people just choose to not do it at all, or even save yeah. up for their health. So today you launched something very important um, and that was uh, the fund for health. How much was committed to it and we, what is it all about? Um, the, the, as Enwealth, we are committed to innovation in the market mm -hmm. of uh, sustainable social security financial solutions, which will definitely widen coverage for social security within the country. As you'd appreciate, uh, we have a very low saving culture. So we have innovated the first of its kind in partnership with APA Life. Uh, it's a pre-funded uh, pre-funding fund where it's called Anaya Post Healthcare Retirement Fund, where members participating in this fund will save kidogo kidogo as low as a thousand per mm -hmm. month. Mm -hmm. And when they get to retirement, we take care of their healthcare through APA insurance for life. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, they'll be able to access over 200 uh, hospitals within the country. And if they need to attend to be attended to uh, out of country in terms of healthcare, like India, uh, again they will be able to enjoy that healthcare cover. That's for both in and out patients. Yes, in and out patient. And if someone has um, would like to enjoy their wife or their, his his wife's uh, wife number one, two or three. <laughs> Uh, yeah. It's also permissible. The only thing is that they will have to put in a little bit more funding. All right. When you uh, say a little bit more funding, how much? What's the minimum? What's the maximum? Uh, uh, presently, we have priced it just depending on the age. Of course, closer to age 60, uh, premiums are a little bit higher. But the younger you are, as, as early as age 18, is as low as actually 1,000 per month. Mm -hmm. uh, but we have stratified uh, benefit classes, bronze. The inpatient limit is uh, half a million and the outpatient is 60. Mm -hmm. uh, we have platinum, which is the most superior. Our inpatient is 5 million, mm -hmm. and the outpatient is 200,000 uh, per year. And this is fairly sufficiently adequate uh, to be able to secure a dignified retirement life for most of our Kenyans. Does this seem affordable to ordinary Kenyans? For bronze, it's quite affordable because yeah. we are talking of premiums of as low as a uh, thousand per month. And uh, the beauty about it is that when you prefund, the income that accrues on these investments uh, definitely helps to prefund the benefit that you are targeting to enjoy at retirement. In terms of so the legislative framework, the funds sit with the bank, a custodian invested by a credible fund manager licensed by the Retirement Benefits Authority, and, and uh, definitely we have 
a legislative uh, regime that safeguards the saving interests of the members that participate in this program. All right, and yes. finally, uh, what are some of the product lines that you have that can be able to attract the young people? Because we are seeing insurance uptake in the country today being at a very low level, yes. um, slightly over 3%. Some reports actually put it at 2.98%. Yes, so um, what more can we do to make sure that the young people are able to subscribe to it? Uh, ICT is giving us a, a platform in terms of enhancing coverage. It's not only an enabler, but it's also a driver in terms of product, uh, financial services product innovation. So we innovated also a personal pension plan where members can still be able to enjoy not only tax, uh, but also they will be able to assign their benefits as collateral security for housing which I think is a critical need at, at the point when most people are in their prime age. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. And uh, speaking of prime age, we should also look at the country Kenya yes. as is. And uh, we have seen that there are a number of projects that have not been funded locally. Yes. Um, we've had to get money from outside of the country yes. to fund local projects. But mm -hmm. do you think we're going to get to a time where we are seeing insurance taking care of such projects too? Definitely. I think if you look at uh, in other markets, uh, talk of Singapore, mm -hmm. ideally uh, if you look at um, uh, some of the in housing uh, projects that have been infrastructure develop the development projects that have been executed in those countries, is out of ideally social security uh, pool of funds. Yeah. Uh, presently in the country, the pension industry stands at about a trillion. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you look at the growth has been tremendous right from two th uh, two, uh, the year 2002 when we were just about 40 billion uh, this has been a growth and I think this uh, pooling of financial resources is going to give massive opportunities for the government to borrow uh, to be able to use for infrastructure development but I think for me what I, we, I would decide to see is um, and a legislative framework that affords the opportunity for every Kenyan worker to ideally uh, serve and serve so that the government can benefit from this in terms of infrastructure development. All right. Yes. But we have a long way to go when it comes to our serving culture, as is not just in Kenya, it's, it's just like an African problem. It is a global issue. If yeah. you study other, if you look at other markets, it's generally appreciated that most people uh, look at saving as a tall order. But I would just say it's just an attitude of the mind. It possibly has nothing to do with the size of the uh, wallet or the pocket of that someone's getting. Because uh, we do observe some cases where someone is earning an, as low as 10,000, but they are still able to actually put aside mm -hmm. something to be able to save. Right. While you have also come across individuals earning 500,000 per month, but they are deep in debt. So it, I, I would place it as a more of an attitude issue, mm -hmm. which can be transformed through education, rather appropriate uh, uh, education programs within the Kenyan youth, so that they can uh, avoid doing sport betting. All right. I, I, as um, I, I think that sport betting is not only <laughs> harmful to your wealth, but also to your health. All right. Yes. Um, it's a way as well of counting on your luck, betting on it, in fact. Yeah. But thank you so much, Simon. We do appreciate Simon Wafuba is the Chief Executive Officer for Annual Financial Services here in Kenya, talking to us about what we need to do to save up and also how we need to go about it. And